so good morning everyone okay so is my screen is visible to you its screen is visible to you its screen is visible to you all of you yes 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 sir okay yes, sir. so we will start so today we are going to see numericals on based on heat engines and refrigerator okay if you able you can take a notes uh, notebook and note down these numericals okay we will discuss here i will give you some exercises and this ppt right after our uh, lecture so you can uh, uh, solve those examples okay and revise those so before going for examples which are based based on second law of thermodynamics okay so first of all we are going to see what is meant by heat engine what is meant by heat pump and refrigerator we just revise those concept just a okay so this is the first example which is the diagram given is given for the heat engine okay what heat in the what heat engine does that is convert heat into work useful work okay it just convert heat into useful work so for taking uh, heat from a hot reservoir or a high temperature reservoir in the form of q1 and convert some heat convert some heat into useful work and the remaining heat will be lost or rejected to the low temperature reservoir or the cold reservoir right so this is heat engine and this is the work of heat engine it's convert heat into useful work okay so now we can find out the efficiency so what is the efficiency or formula for efficiency of heat engine okay it is given as thermal efficiency okay because it is a thermal engine and this efficiency is given by this formula where efficiency is a is equal to useful work okay upon whatever the input heat we given okay whenever we consider any heat uh, efficiency formula what is the efficiency formula generally it is output upon input right so here output is useful this useful work and input is this heat energy so output upon input this is the thermal efficiency formula and again we can write down w as a q1 minus q2 because some uh, this q1 q1 is input and from this q1 we loss or we reject some heat q2 so from this phenomena we can write down w is equal to q1 minus q2 right so we just put it put this in the efficiency formula upon q1 so by using this formula okay by using this formula we can find out or, or calculate thermal efficiency right for the heat engine okay for any heat engine okay you can find out efficiency of thermal efficiency of that particular heat engine using this formula same for heat pump or a refrigerator okay so what is difference between heat pump and refrigeration is that whenever we so whenever we uh, the difference is just uh, output okay what is the output for the heat pump it is heat which is added to the system so output will be here for the heat pump okay not for the others for refrigerator what is the useful output or useful work means ex extracting the heat from the space okay means we cool down the space or we down the temperature of the particular space that is the useful output so for the refrigerator this is the useful output and for the heat pump this is the useful output so depend on the output input will be the same okay that is w which is whatever the electrical energy or work we are given input that is the input just we changing or just the output or with full effect are changes okay for the heat pump it is placed with 
uh, at the hot reservoir and for the refrigerator it is near it is a cold reservoir okay so whatever the heat eject ejected from the cold reservoir this is the useful output output and for the heat pump whatever the heat we added to the reservoir that is the output for the heat pump okay so depend on this we can calculate cop coefficient of performance now what is the general term or general uh, formula for the cop is it is whatever useful effect okay or whatever the desired effect upon input okay so generally it is output upon input similarly to the efficiency so we can again derive that like desired effect upon work okay so for heat pump what is the desired effect desired effect is q1 right because we added the heat for the particular uh, reservoir or the space okay so this is the desired output for the heat pump okay so it is given as cop of the heat pump is given as q1 upon w is equal to q1 as it is and how we can write down w okay as we know by adding this whatever the heat uh, taken from the low uh, reservoir and the work so both are added okay this work also converted into heat and this total heat is given to the hot reservoir okay so by the calculations you can now say w is equal to whatever the q1 minus this q2 okay because q1 is equal to q2 plus w so w you have to find out w in the form of heats or q so here q2 goes here and we get q1 minus q2 is equal to w okay so this is the formula for cop of heat pump okay similarly for the cop of refrigeration here only what what is the desired effect desired effect is cool down means we cooling or reducing the temperature of the space okay for that what will happen we eject the heat okay or we extract heat from this cold reservoir okay and what this is the desired effect because whenever this amount of this extracted heat is increases definitely temperature of this particular uh, reservoir also decreases very fast okay so for that desired effect upon work input desired effect here is q2 upon w similarly this is equal to q2 upon again we write down this w in the form of q1 and q2 that is q1 minus q2 this is the cop of a refrigerator okay again cop of a heat pump is q1 upon w and if cop of a the refrigeration is equal to q2 upon w okay you should know that cop of a heat pump vary from 1 to infinity okay and cop of refrigerator is vary from 0 to infinity okay to achieve infinity uh, infinity cop uh, we required very less temperature difference between the two reservoirs okay so these are the formulas this for any type of heat re heat refrigeration or heat pump or heat engine okay if we consider now if you consider if we consider okay reversible systems okay if you consider any reversible system okay so by using the second law of thermodynamics what we can do we can write heat engine thermal efficiency in the form of temperature because for any reversible heat engine okay for any reversible system the whatever the efficiency of that system is totally depend on temperatures only okay it does not depend on the working fluid we already seen that okay so we can write down the thermal efficiency of that heat engine in the form of temperature okay so this is these are just numericals or we solve those uh, these equations okay and you can use those equations okay because uh, as this efficiency is equal to q1 minus q2 upon q1 okay so this is equal to t1 minus t2 upon t1 okay so for the any reversible system so this is the most important word reversible system okay 
for any reversible system that uh, the efficiency of heat engine or cop of a refrigeration or cop of a heat pump is depend on temperatures of the reservoirs only okay it does not depends on the whatever the working fluid we using in that particular machine or a system okay so similarly for the refrigerator we can write, write down in the form of temperature and for the heat pump also we can write down in the form of temperature so these are the just a uh, extension of those formula for reversible systems okay this is just for a reversible system you should know that it is just for a reversible system not for irreversible okay so so we are going to see first example based on this uh, second law of thermodynamics okay so if you have a notebook please note down the given things only okay so it will be easy for you to solve down those uh, steps okay so first question or first example is a heat engine receive heat at a rate of 1500 kg per minute and gives an output of 8.2 kilowatt okay so a heat engine which is a reversible heat engine reversible heat engine receives heat at a rate of 1500 kg per minute or just a heat engine here not is uh, given as a reversible okay so it receives heat at a rate of 1500 kg per minute and gives an output of 8.2 kilowatt so find out or determines the thermal efficiency and the rate of heat rejection okay so we have to find out thermal efficiency and the rate of heat rejection before going to solve any example related to second law of thermodynamics it is very easy or it is a very uh, good habit to draw draw this <coughs> diagram so we can find out easily uh, what are the terms and uh, other things okay so this is the heat engine so we just draw this diagram first this is the heat engine this is the source because we take heat from the high temperature reservoir this is high temperature reservoir and re reject some heat to low temperature reservoir which is called as a sink okay whenever we consider low temperature reservoir it is called as sink and the high temperature reservoir is known as or called as source okay so we take heat from or receives heat from the source at this rate 1500 kg per minute okay we convert some form uh, some heat into the useful work which is given as 8.2 kilowatt right and we sub reject some heat which is q2 which is not q1 okay so this is heat engine okay now what first thing we have to convert into standard formulas okay so now we know the q1 q1 is a 1500 kg per minute just we divided or convert that minute into the second okay so just we divide by 60 because one minute is equal to one minute is equal to 60 second okay 60 second right so we just put that value in this 1500 upon 60 00 cancel so 150 by 6 which is 25 kilojoules per second okay so we just convert kilojoule per minute to the kilojoule per second because this kilojoule per second means kilowatt conversion you should know that all the conversions because one joule one joule per second is known as watt okay so one kilojoule per second is one kilowatt so we just convert that kilojoule minute per Uh, into the kilojoule second so we can directly take is at 25 kilowatt again or just we convert into kilojoule per second in this form okay so work is given and given in kilowatt before uh, solve, uh, solving any equation we know that unit will be the same okay so for that we convert that convert into the same units okay here also we convert that work into kilowatt to kilojoule per second okay so now what is the formula for thermal efficiency which is output upon input output is what this work is output 
right upon input whatever the input we take the receive received the heat okay so this is the heat received so by putting these values into the thermal efficiency we can find out the efficiency okay so just divide 8.2 upon 25 is equal to 0.328 okay this is in fraction okay to convert in this uh, percentage we uh, multiply this into 100 okay multiply by 100 we get 32.8 percent okay so th thermal efficiency is 32.8 percent right now what we second thing we have to find second one is rate of heat rejection means how much rate is rejected how much heat, uh, heat is rejected okay we have to find out q2 now we know we re received a heat 25 kilojoule per second from the heat 25 kilojoule per second we convert only 8.2 kilojoule per second into the work okay and the remaining heat will be the rejected so here we can write down q2 is equal to q1 minus w okay which is given as 25 kilojoules per second minus 8.2 which is 16.8 kilojoule per second so this is the rate of heat rejection why it is given as rate okay because it is per second right whatever the heat we received is a per minute okay Manj means manje je kai tumhala heat receive reje, uh, receive ani je kai work produce apan kartoy he per ekade per second kiwa per minute dilele hai manje with respect to time dilele hai okay so konti quantity apan jar with respect to time getli tar tela rate manta right so why, that's why they asking for rate of heat rejection because they are given rate of heat received and rate of work developed okay so this is the first simple example okay so if you have any doubts please write down in chat box regarding this example someone raises hand two minutes ago you can unmute yourself and you can ask the doubt regarding this example because uh, all the examples we are going to see as based in those uh, formulas only which we already seen in first two uh, slides okay if you have any doubts you can ask now did anyone have a doubt regarding these examples those are important examples just say yes no no sir those are the simple example okay so we are moving to second example okay so what is the question or second example is find the coefficient of performance means we have to find out cop okay and heat transfer rate again it is given as heat transfer rate in the condenser in the condenser of a refrigerator in a kilojoule per hour in this rate okay in this units which has a refrigeration capacity of 1200 or 12000 kilojoule per hour and when power input is 0.75 kilowatt okay now first of all you should know the what is the system we have to find out cop of a refrigerator refrigeration so first of all you just draw this diagram refrigerator okay it is take what does refrigerator takes it takes heat from the low heat reservoir and gives heat to the high heat reservoir now what is mean by condenser and what is mean by evaporator as i already to, uh, told during discussion of uh, of the refrigerator or the second law of thermodynamics that what refrigerator do which is available into your home what is do it takes heat okay it takes heat okay so refrigerator madhe heat kutun ek absorb kele jate jo kai tumcha refrigerator cha inlet area asnara interior tya madun heat ji kai asti ti extract kele jate right tela evaporator mantat 
ओके जे तुम्ही बर्फ वगैरे करायचा कंपार्टमेंट असतो किंवा भाजी वगैरे ठेवतात ते संपूर्ण आतली जी जागा आहे इंटेरियर स्पेस आहे त्याला इव्हॅपरेटर म्हणतात कारण की तिथून हीट ऍब्झॉर्ब करतो रेफ्रिजरेटर अँड आफ्टर ऍब्झॉर्बशन ऑफ द हीट दिस हीट गिवन आउट टू द ऍटमॉस्फिअर इन टू द कंडेन्सर कंडेन्सर मध्ये काय केलं जातं जे काही रेफ्रिजरेटर तुमचा रेफ्रिजरंट मधला रेफ्रिजरेशन मधला ओके रेफ्रिजरेटर मधला जो काय रेफ्रिजरंट असतो जे म्हणजे इन द केस ऑफ होम अप्लायन्सेस दोज आर फ्रीऑन गॅसेस वगैरे असतो राईट जो कुलिंग कुलंट असतो तो रेफ्रिजरंट असं जो काय असतो तो वेपर फॉर्म मधून लिक्विड फॉर्म मध्ये कंडेन्सर मध्ये येतो म्हणजे जी काही हीट त्यानं रिसीव्ह केलेली असते ती हीट कंडेन्सर मधून ऍटमॉस्फिअरला दिली जाते म्हणजे जी काय हीट रेफ्रिजरेटर घेतो ती कंडेन्सरला दिली जाते आणि कंडेन्सर मधून पुन्हा ऍटमॉस्फिअरला ही हीट रिजेक्ट केली जाते राईट सो कंडेन्सर इज अ हाय टेम्परेचर रिझर्वायर अँड एव्हॅपरेटर इज अ लो टेम्परेचर रिझर्वायर नाव वॉट दे गिवन विच हॅज अ रेफ्रिजरेशन कॅपॅसिटी म्हणजे किती हीट एनर्जी तो एक्सट्रॅक्ट करू शकतो रेफ्रिजरेटर फ्रॉम द इव्हॅपरेटर मीन्स दे गिवन क्यू टू इज अ गिवन दॅट इज ट्वेल्व थाउजंड किलो जुल पर आवर ओके नाव व्हॉट इज द पॉवर आउट पॉवर इनपुट पॉवर इनपुट इज पॉइंट सेवन फायव्ह किलो वॅट ओके नाव व्हॉट वी जस्ट कन्वर्ट ऑर कन्वर्ट दोज युनिट्स इन टू द सेम युनिट्स ओके वी पुट किलो जुल पर आवर now we convert that kilowatt into the kilojoule per hour now for the conversion this is the conversion 0.75 into 60 into 60 because this is means kilojoule per second this is kilowatt given as kilojoule per second so we just convert that second into the hours for that we multiply this by 60 by 60 okay and we convert it into kilojoule per hour now what we have first thing we have to find out we find out cop cop for of refrigeration is what desired effect upon work input so what is the desired effect whatever the heat absorbed at the lower temperature lower temperature kiwa evaporator kadun ji heat absorb kelle that is the desired effect okay and upon work input now just we put that these values which are given we must know uh, we must check that the unit will be the same okay kilojoule per hour kilojoule per hour we can also convert this kilojoule per hour into kilowatt okay and we can use that uh, value also okay it depends on you just whenever there is any equation we have to put uh, we have to put the values in equation unit must be same okay so now we have, we calculate the cop which is q2 upon w which is desired effect which is q2 we which is again solved this is just solved uh, we solved and it is given as or calculated as 4.44 okay this is the cop of the refrigerator which is answer first answer first part is completed now what we have to find out find cop cop you find out and heat transfer rate okay heat transfer rate in the conden condenser so whatever the heat we transfer to the condenser we have to find out that heat okay we have to find out that heat so for that what we find out we know the q2 we know the w so from this we can directly find out q1 just add because whenever heat absorbed from the evaporator and work also take because work is input to the refrigerator by combining these or just addition this we get q1 so this is given as q1 is equal to q2 plus w which is 12000 plus this quantity which are we converted already and it is given as 14700 kilojoule per hour because we extract heat also we use work for that extraction and i also work also converted into heat and this total heat is given to the condenser in the form of q1 which is in the form of q1 okay so we just 
uh, find out Q1 and COP and the Q1. Okay, so this is second type of example COP of a refrigerator. Okay, if you have any doubts, please raise your hand or you, you can unmute yourself and ask of the particular example. The example with the kind of doubt. Did you have any doubts for this example? Yes, no, type yes, no in the chat box. Because uh, so we can move to next example. Okay. So this is the next one. Okay. The third example, what is a cyclic heat engine? whatever the heat engine is in cyclic operation operates between a source temperature 1000 degree centigrade this is the heat engine so we just draw this uh, this drawings okay this is the high temperature reservoir this is low temperature reservoir right this is the heat taken from the high temperature reservoir some part of heat is converted into heat work and some part is rejected okay we just first uh, first of all we draw this uh, uh, diagram after that what is uh, what is given given is source temperature is 1000 degree centigrade means the temperature of the high temp high temperature reservoir this is given okay it is given in degree centigrade okay we just convert it into kelvin temperature scale okay for the conversion we just uh, conversion into uh, degree centigrade to Kelvin, we just add to 73. This conversion you already know. Okay. So for the T1, 1000 plus 273 that is given in, uh, we achieved in Kelvins. Okay. We just write down. Then the same temperature is 40, 40 degree centigrade. Okay. So sink temperature is given as 40 degree centigrade. Again, we convert that into Kelvin, we just add to 73, which is 313 Kelvin. Okay. We write down sink temperature. Now find the least rate of heat rejection per kilowatt net output of a engine. Okay. Means we have to find out how much heat will be rejected. Okay. There it is given as least rate of heat rejection why it is given as least if it is given as least then means we have to find out heat rejection when this engine is reversible when this engine is reversible least means what some that like normal engine okay normal engine with the gas normal engine with the reversible engine associated right and what we already studied that any reversible any reversible engine will have maximum efficiency okay so efficiency of reversible engine is more than irreversible engine so now consider this is the and ir, uh, river irreversible engine in that case what happened efficiency will be uh, reduced okay or less than reversible engine that means whatever the work output okay that will be less means Whenever this quantity work outlet is less, whatever then the heat rejected by that particular engine will be maximum. Okay, current the sir work output reduce on array work output reduce on array. Then what on array? Jika heat rejected on array, the increase will be. Okay, in the case of irreversible engine, reversible engine में देखा होता है. Maximum efficiency milte. maximum efficiency manja ka as na rai W maximum mil na rai aplela right ani W maximum as lem Q2 ka ho na rai Q2 minimum as na rai right so we obtain least Q2 minimum Q2 in the case of reversible engine only okay now we for least rate of heat rejection this engine must be a reversible engine right so by using this concept for a reversible heat engine the rate of heat rejection will be the minimum or a least okay so for that by using this phenomena or the whatever the equation we find out for a reversible engine 
the efficiency maximum efficiency for the or efficiency of the reversible engine is equal to t1 minus t2 upon t1 because we just uh, uh, what uh, we use temperature instead of q okay because for the any reversible engine where the efficiency is depends only on temperature not on a working fluid that's why the efficiency of rever reversible engine is given by t1 upon t1 by t2 upon t1 okay it is again uh, simplified like 1 minus t2 upon t1 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 cancel okay so from this we already know the temperature of source and temperature of sink okay we just put so uh, those values in this equation and find out efficiency of that heat engine okay first we find out efficiency of that heat engine after that what is the next step we have to find out least rate of heat rejection okay least heat of <coughs> least rate of heat rejection per kilowatt net output of engine manje जर वर्क वर्क है वर्क आउटपुट एक किलोवैट आल ओके वर्क आउटपुट एक किलोवैट आल तो वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू टू इफ यू कन्सिडर डब्ल्यू इज अ वन किलोवैट वॉट एवर द वर्क आउटपुट इज अ वन किलोवैट दैन वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू टू दैट इज टेकन फ्रॉम पर किलोवैट नेट ऑफ ओके पर किलोवैट मे अपन क्या करते वन किलोवैट कन्सिडर करते ओके सो फ्रॉम दिस वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट क्यू टू ओके सो हाउ वील वी वील फाइंड आउट क्यू टू वी नो द फॉर्म्यूला फॉर इफिशियंसी राइट वर्क आउटपुट आउटपुट वर्क अपॉन इनपुट ओके वॉट इज द आउटपुट डब्ल्यू नेट एंड वी दिस इज द वन किलोवैट ओके नाउ वी पुट जस्ट वैल्यू इन दिस एंड फाइंड आउट sorry uh, and find out q1 first we find out q1 okay here you, we already calculated efficiency okay so we just put these values and we find out q1 okay this q1 is find out which is given as but uh, calculated as 1.326 kilowatt okay this is the q1 okay first of all we find out efficiency after that we find out q1 okay and after that we find out q2 by using the formula q2 is equal to q1 minus w net okay we know the q q1 and we know the w net which is 1 kilowatt okay so we just 1 uh, minus or min, uh, minus the work net from the q1 and it is given as 0.326 kilowatt okay so hence least rate of heat rejection will be 0.326 kilowatt okay likewise we find out q2 so first of all whenever we you have to find out anything you must know what is uh, you should know what is the q1 things okay and put that things uh, in the diagrams whenever we put that things in diagram it is simple to analyze the diagram okay so uh, they are given as uh, they gives temperature to us okay so we put the temperatures in the diagrams they from this uh, this statement per kilowatt net output of uh, work engine we find out work what will be the work okay and from this from this statement means us <coughs> find the least rate of heat rejection we find out that this cycle or the or this heat engine is a reversible heat engine okay so from this given equation we first found out uh, the efficiency of the particular heat engine after that what will be what is the q1 what is the heat absorbed by the heat engine or what is the heat given to the heat engine and after that we find out what is the <coughs> uh, heat rejected by the heat engine okay so this is the third example if you have any doubts we re, we have a 5 minutes now so you can put the doubts into the chat box okay related to the any example or formula if you have any doubts just put it in chat box 
okay we will see those equations or i will upload a uh, videos of those these uh, examples okay and i will share those videos okay so it's easy for you so this is the exercise i will after the, our completion of this lecture i will put this uh, slides on our whatsapp group okay i will share just go go through these examples just solve these examples and find out is the answers are correct or not okay so it will great revision for you guys okay just uh, revise or <coughs> all the uh, whatever the formulas are the same okay just you have to analyze okay you have to learn to analyze those uh, uh, questions okay because some uh, words are confusing okay so you just you have to just analyze those questions if you analyze those question correctly then you will get uh, answer very uh, correctly okay so just follow or uh, solve down those equations okay i will put uh, videos uh, solving videos of these uh, questions or examples okay i will share it uh, by today evening okay so it will be easy for you to solve those remaining these exercises okay if you have any doubts just put it in chat box or you can unmute yourself and ask okay, we, so we still we have 5 minutes so you can ask doubt regarding anything okay whatever the content we covered until now <clears throat> i will share the videos for remaining two examples okay also i will uh, upload the online lecture recorded videos on youtube and i will share link to you so it will be uh, easy to access from there okay. so if you have any doubts you can ask directly admit yourself and you can ask look if you don't understand uh, any of this concept you just ask because this this concept are very important okay whatever the concept we are going to cover uh, we are going to cover in next successive chapters te ya ja concept asa te pratyek vele yeta okay so tumhala ya concept properly mait pahije ya jar tumhala concept ya tikani kalla nahi okay तर पुढच्या ज्या काही कन्सेप्ट असणार आहेत त्या सुद्धा कळणार नाहीत किंवा पुढचं जे काय सगळे थर्मोडायनामिक्स असणार आहे ते कळणार नाही दिस इज द बेसिक ओके हाऊ टू फाइंड आउट इफिशियन्सी हाऊ टू फाइंड आउट सी ओ पी व्हॉट इज मीन बाय आयसोथर्मल प्रोसेस व्हॉट इज मीन बाय ॲडियाबॅटिक प्रोसेस त्याच्या कंडिशन्स काय आहेत म्हणजे हीट हीट ट्रान्सफर किती होतो आहे ॲडियाबॅटिकमध्ये असतो का किंवा आयसोथर्मलमध्ये कोणती क्वांटिटी किंवा कोणती प्रॉपर्टी कॉन्स्टंट असते हे सगळे तुम्हाला माहित पाहिजे प्लस जे काय वर्क वर्क ट्रान्सफर किंवा हीट ट्रान्सफरच्या फॉर्म्युले आहेत किंवा इंटरनल एनर्जी चेंज होत त्याला फॉर्म्युले आहेत ते सुद्धा फॉर्म्युले तुम्हाला माहीत पाहिजेत कारण की पुढे आपण गॅस पॉवर सायकल्स बघणार आहोत ओके ओके सो वन डाऊट इज देअर वी आर गोईंग टू कवर दे इन थर्ड एक्झाम्पल व्हाय वी कन्सिडर इट ॲज अ रिव्हर्सिबल हीट इंजिन ओके सो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन अगेन i will explain again okay here what happen okay you just first read the question okay the cyclic heat engine it is in cycle state right operates between source temperature we know the source temperature 1000 and the sink temperature 40 degrees centigrade okay now what is it uh, given or ask find the least rate of heat rejection okay now first consider only this heat engine okay we just draw heat engine we take some heat from a high temperature reservoir or a source q1 okay we convert some form okay some heat into work heat work okay and some part of this heat is rejected some part is rejected some part is converted into the work okay now in which case the heat 
which is rejected it will be the minimum okay te to rate tum tenni kadayla sangitla manje least rate find out kara manje ja thikani hi ji heat rejection honar hai te saglyat kami asel okay kiwa minimum ase right he heat rejection minimum kewa asel jewa he jo apan heat add karnar hai hetyatli maximum heat je hai te apan work madhe convert karna right जेव्हा आपण मॅक्सिमम हीट जी आहे ती वर्क मध्ये कन्वर्ट करतो त्यावेळी मिनिमम हीट आहे ती रिजेक्शन होणार आहे राईट म्हणजेच समजा हे क्यू वन आहे क्यू वन मध्ये जेव्हा आपण मॅक्सिम वर्क मध्ये कन्वर्ट करू त्यावेळी क्यू टू जे आहे जी रिमेनिंग हीट असणार आहे ती मिनिमम असणार आहे राईट आणि हे कोणत्या केस मध्ये असणार आहे रिव्हर्सिबल इंजिन कारण इफिशियन्सी ऑफ रिवर्सिबल इंजिन एनी रिवर्सिबल इंजिन इज अ मैक्सिम ओके रिवर्सिबल इंजिन ची इफिशियन्सी ही मैक्सिम आती ओके को इंजिन की इफिशियन्सी रिवर्सिबल इंजिन या इफिशियन्सी पेक्षा जास्त नसते कभी तुम्हारा महत बाय द सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स ओके सो समा हे हिट रिजेक्शन मिनिम पाजे राइट मग हीट रिजेक्शन मिनिमम असल्यावर इफिशियन्सी काय असणार आहे त्या पर्टिक्युलर इंजिनची इफिशियन्सीचा फॉर्म्युला काय आहे इफिशियन्सी इज इक्वल टू व्हॉट एव्हर द आउटपुट वर्क आउटपुट अपॉन इनपुट क्यू वन ओके नाव क्यू वन कसं डब्ल्यू कसं देणार आहे क्यू वन मायनस क्यू टू राईट Q1 वन मायनस क्यू टू अपॉन क्यू वन आता आता लक्षात घ्या आता ही रिव्हर्सिबल हिट इंजिन आहे ह्याची इफिशियन्सी मॅक्सिम कधी असणार आहे जेव्हा हा जो डिनो न्युमरेटर जो असणार आहे तो मॅक्सिम पाहिजे राईट न्युमरेट न्युमरेटरची व्हॅल्यू जी असते ती मॅक्सिम पाहिजे बरोबर आहे मग त्यासाठी काय पाहिजे ह्याची व्हॅल्यू मॅक्सिम असायसाठी ही क्यू टूची व्हॅल्यू जी असाय आहे ती मिनिम पाहिजे कारण की क्यू वन मधन तो मायनस होतो राईट आणि जेव्हा क्यू वन मधन मिनिमम व्हॅल्यू मायनस होईल त्यावेळी आपल्याला इफिशियन्सी मॅक्सिम भेटेल राईट सो हिअर व्हॉट इज दे गिवन फाइंड द लिस्ट रेट ऑफ हिट रिजेक्शन त्यामुळे इथं जो लिस्ट रेट आहे तो आपण कन्सिडर काय करणार आहे लिस्ट म्हणजे सगळ्यात कमी होतोय म्हणजेच काय त्याची इफिशियन्सी ही सगळ्यात जास्त असणार आहे ओके आणि म्हणजेच काय तर ते जे इंजिन आहे ते रिव्हर्सिबल इंजिन असणार आहे राईट सो बेस्ड ऑन दिस कन्सेप्ट वी फाइंड आउट ऑर वी कन्सिडर दिस इज ऍज अ मिनिमम क्यू टू इज अ मिनिमम सो बेसिक बेस ऑन दॅट वी विल गेट मॅक्सिम इफिशियन्सी अँड ओनली रिव्हर्सिबल इंजिन विल हॅव मॅक्सिम इफिशियन्सी ओके त्यामुळे आपण जे हे जे इंजिन आहे त्याला रिव्हर्सिबल इंजिन कन्सिडर करतो कारण की मिनिमम हिट जे आहे ती लॉस होत्या आणि मॅक्सिम वर्क आपल्याला आउटपुट मिळते राईट मॅक्सिम आउटपुट फक्त आपल्यात आपल्याला रिव्हर्सिबल इंजिनला भेटणार आहे कारण की त्याची इफिशियन्सी जास्त असते दॅट्स वाय वी कन्सिडर फॉर रिव्हर्सिबल हिट इंजिन द रेट ऑफ हिट रिजेक्शन विल बी मिनिमम म्हणजे क्यू टू हा मिनिम असणार आहे आणि मॅक्सिम अमाऊंट ऑफ दॅट हिट ऍडेड विल बी कन्व्हर्टेड इन टू वर्क ओके दॅट्स वाय वी कन्सिडर धिस इंजिन ॲज अ रिव्हर्सिबल इंजिन म्हणूनच कोणताही क्वेश्चन वाच वाचताना त्याचा अनालिसिस करणं खूप महत्वाचं आहे जे लहान लहान शब्द असतात वर्ड्स त्यावरून तुम्हाला कन्क्लुजन्स किंवा बेसिक टर्म्स माहीत पाहिजेत त्यावरून तुम्हाला कसा प्रॉब्लेम आहे तो तुम्हाला अनालायसिस करायला लागतो ओके आणि त्यानंतर मग तुम्हाला फाइंड आऊट करायला लागतात जे काही व्हॅल्यूज आहेत म्हणून हा जो पार्ट आहे जो जस्ट मॅथमॅटिकल पार्ट आहे ओके कॅल्क्युलेशन्स वगैरे तुम्हाला फर्स्टली काय माहीत पाहिजे What is the basic concept of heat engine? Pahela maith paaje. In which case we we got maximum efficiency? Te maith paaje. So te jawa maith asil te avis te anantaras tumi ye jeka mathematical equation side te tumi follow ki wa find out koru shakta. Apply koru shakta. Okay. So that's why analysis of problems are the most important. Is the most important. Okay. Clear? The doubt is clear. <coughs> सतेज घोरपडे इज युअर डाउट इज क्लिअर ओके 